there are sort of backup um, treatments that we can do. And so one of those backup treatments is Botox injections. Um, the, the most sort of striking example I have is we had a patient where she had vaginismus and we were trying to get in there with the dilators. So the dilators are these little white sticks and it's not, they're not painful, they're very skinny. And we sort of try um, having the first one put in the vagina. Once you can tolerate the gout, we go to a slightly larger one and that's how general treatment goes. This woman sat up on the exam table and said, I can't do this, I cannot do this. There must be another way, Bacheva, there has to be another way. This was maybe 14 years ago. And so we started looking for other ways. And one of the things we found, which is incredibly effective, is a Botox treatment. And for those women where the fear factor is just so overwhelming or the muscles are just so tight, we do this treatment. You go to a surgery center, it's a 15 minute treatment. They put you under conscious sedation. So you don't know what's going on, but you're not actually out with anesthesia, but for all intents and purposes, you're out. Once they're under that um, anesthesia, um, Dr. Werner, the urologist, goes in. The introidal muscle is this little muscle. It's tiny. It's like a, sort of like a ring. and But you can see nothing can kind of get through that. And he just pulls on the muscle. The muscle just gives once the, the patient is relaxed. And then he injects up and down the vaginal canal. He injects Botox and he injects lidocaine. And then we insert the large dilator, there's no pain, the patient wakes up and for the first time in their life they have something inside their vagina and it's like a large dilator. They're very relaxed from the Botox and, um, and they realize they're not feeling anything and it's it's, it is life-changing. The Botox, what the Botox does is freeze the muscles, kind of like women do Botox on their forehead because they don't want frowns. Like if you frown, furrow your forehead, you'll get frowns. Botox doesn't allow you to tighten those muscles. So the same way you can't tighten your muscles in your forehead, you can't tighten those muscles in the vagina. And so it gives the patient six months or so while the Botox is working um, where they can't tighten those muscles. And so the women who do the Botox, it's not like a magic bullet. Like it's not like the next day they're comfortable throwing things in and out of their vagina, but it helps them jump over those first few steps of panic and fear and knowing that they can get something in and knowing that there isn't pain and it's incredibly successful. So we do do, in the cases where the general dilator work doesn't, doesn't work or it's too scary, we'll go to Botox, or we have women coming, I would say all over the country, but actually all over the world, who can't be here for the six weeks or eight weeks to do the general um, dilator work. And so they'll come in for just a few days and have the Botox treatment done and they go home and they continue to work on their own. What you'll find when you're dealing with and struggling with sexual issues is that you can go to a doctor and the doctor may be able to fix a problem or may not be able to, but what they won't do is look at the broader picture. And so having all of these professionals around dealing with people who deal with trauma, people who deal with sexual abuse, people who deal with couples, um, having all of those professionals around you makes the process so much more likely to be successful.